Okay, uh, this is Dr. Liu uh, talking about the advanced features of the uh, the five prompt uh, Arduino uh, user interface library. This is a library that you can use to uh, to create menus, lists, um, long text that uh, scrolls up and down like this, and uh, a lot of other features like uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, yes no dialogues, uh, and OK dialogues, and uh, and entries for example entry for numbers for for text and such. And uh, this video only features the advanced features that are not able to be written into a library uh, library call because a library function uh, is a little more generic than what these uh, these functions uh, these uh, these features have. So let's take a look here. Uh, advanced features for dynamic content. This essentially means uh, the content of your menu actually changes with time. Uh, regardless what actually is changing, uh, you can actually do this. If you just hit enter here, um, there's actually two uh, two sets of dynamic contents here. Uh, the top line here has time. Basically, it's from the real time clock from my uh, Phi Two Shield. So it's just reading uh, the time and updating it while I'm actually in the menu. So I can select. Uh, either item while I'm in the menu, the uh, the content gets dynamically um, updated, and this other update is basically the uptime. This is how long the uh, um, the Arduino has uh, has been running. So these contents can be uh, uh, integrated into the advanced features of uh, Five Prompt, but uh, uh, unfortunately, as you can see, the uh, the type of dynamic content is it could be. Uh, time could be a temperature, could be, a, for example, a relay status that you just cannot really turn that into a generic function. Um, so you have to uh, look into my code to see how these things uh, are actually done. And again, these count these things you can still select them. And that's just a regular item. And this one, let's just say it's a uh, this content is actually dynamically changing. And you can still select them if you think it, it makes sense to select them. Okay. So that's dynamic content, basically the most uh, simplistic way. And here's the multi-select. Essentially, means you can select more than one item. And uh, this is just a list of, uh, of days of the week. Let's just go ahead and select Sunday, and uh, go Monday. As you can see, there's actually a list here. Uh, and again, the uh, the kind of list is so could be so uh, different from one application to another. So there's no way you can actually write this into a uh, a library for, uh, library call. See that uh, if I select all dates, it becomes every day, and uh, if I just unselect this, it becomes Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, and I can also unselect some of these to make it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just like that. So it's besides dynamic content right here. Also, it is a multi-select. Uh, um, list and again this feature cannot be uh, just turned into a library function call uh, you have to uh, to actually write code uh, to, to make it happen okay let's go back to the next one the next one is called in menu adjust this simply means uh, you can easily adjust contents while they're actually dis uh, displays, uh, displayed as content as, as items in the menu just for uh, for easy of operation. Let's take a look here. We actually have three different parameters here: parameter one and two, and the third one is uh, is a volume. I mocked it up. It doesn't really do anything, uh, but you can see the interaction here. See parameter one here at the moment is zero. So uh, in the, in the in the regular case, you want to um, say change it. You press enter, and then you enter a number, or maybe push up and down to change the value. But uh, the uh, in menu adjust makes it much easier. With the left and right keys, you can increase or just go to the next parameter, increase. See that? That one actually has five uh, in steps. So you go from 75 to 80. Uh, the other one has one step. So you go uh, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. And there's also a maximum. See, the maximum is actually 80. So you increase uh, beyond that, it goes back to the minimum. Or if you decrease below the minimum, it goes back to the maximum. So it's a very convenient way to adjust parameters without having to enter into it, then enter a number. You just go to the parameter and adjust it. This is just an analog version of it. So it helps you display 0 to 9. 
Okay, that's zero volume, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine volume. And again, uh, things these drastically different, and that changes from uh, application to application. You cannot write it into a uh, a library fun uh, function call. Okay, let's go back here and look at uh, the next one. Okay, the second example of the uh, in manual adjust features lists. Say, for example, if you want to change content, but the content is not really a number, instead it's a list, well, you can do the same thing, very similar. Uh, you program into it and uh, see the today's day, you can change anything you want, just basically focus to the uh, uh, highlight this item, and if you go on to change the months, go to the months and change the months to April and the Sunday. And uh, probably we should celebrate because, well, it's just a special day maybe. And uh, here's a yes and no. So uh, any type of uh, um, uh, lists can also be integrated into this so-called uh, in-menu adjust uh, feature. But again, since there's so many different types of lists, you cannot use a function uh, to generically do this as elegantly as possible compared to just writing code. And again, uh, any one of these contents, if you just click on it, uh, you can you can assign a special function for it, but I did not. I was just showing uh, what can be done. Okay, so the one last example here in manual adjust 3. This is what I call compound adjustment because here you can see there's an option here and also the value of that option. And there's also a regular item here just to hang around. Uh, so the option here has runtime in seconds and the value is that one time in 10 seconds. So I can simply just change this and it also has a maximum, minimum and also step size. And what's more in interesting is the compound result here. If I just say, go and look at a different option, um, maximum current, well, the value is 250 max, uh, milli, uh, milliamps. I can change that. I can glance through a lot of these options without having to, uh, to flip a page. Uh, although flipping pages uh, is made very easy with five prompt. Uh, you can see here, I can look at the uh, options RPMs, um, shutdown temperature, 72, and runtime, I just adjusted it, and this uh, IMAX. So it's very easy to actually to, to, uh, to uh, thumb through uh, a, a dozen or a couple dozen parameters without having to uh, scroll down at all. And for anything that you want to change, you just pause and go to change that value. Uh, that's what I call a compound option because this option here is compounded into whatever actually displays here. So again, um, you have to, uh, to write your code uh, as the sample code uh, tells you uh, how, to, uh, to how to get it started. It's not too hard, but uh, you do need some um, intermediate level of, of C programming skills. This is definitely not for, uh, for newbies. Thanks.